Have you ever been around people that are just great apologizers? I know I have, and they apologize, and they say they're going to do better, or they're going to change, and it doesn't happen, and they apologize, and it doesn't happen, they apologize, so the apology becomes pretty hollow, doesn't it? The fact is, you can talk all you want, but action is what produces change. And I want to talk about that in your morning cup of inspiration. Maybe that's you today. Maybe you need to make some changes with your spouse or with your employer or your employees or your children, and you just haven't made the change and only talk about it. The Bible says that true repentance is turning and going the other way. It is literally making a change. And that's what the Thessalonians did when the word of God was brought to them. They just didn't talk about it. They made a change. Listen to what it says in 1 Thessalonians, because the Thessalonians were known for these four things. One is they turned wholeheartedly to God. Once they realized how much God loved them, they turned wholeheartedly. They abandoned worshiping false gods. They were worshiping idols. They turned from that and began to worship the one true God. The third thing is they became passionate servants of God. So they loved God enough to serve him with all of their heart. And finally, the fourth thing, the fourth thing is they eagerly anticipated the return of Jesus. They had that hope, that eternal hope. And if you sit and listen to these four things, and if you're not doing those four things yourself, then you need some change in your life. It's not going to be done through words. It's going to be done through actions. You need to turn wholeheartedly to God. You need to abandon worshiping other things, devoting your time and your money to things that are not worthy of God. You need to be a passionate servant. You need to look for areas in your life that you can help other people and serve and be a light in the darkness of this world. And then let's all eagerly anticipate Christ's return. With everything going on in the world today, that is something that's becoming more and more in focus and more and more exciting. So I pray you'll do that today. Don't just talk about it. Take action. Let's make change today. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.